back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna be doing a get ready with me to take some pictures. So I got workout set. Just you know what to wear because it looks so cute. And I got it on off of Amazon. Cute. So after we're doing my makeup, we're gonna try it on and see how it looks. I'm so excited. So we're gonna first off, we're gonna moisturize my face because I haven't moisturized. So I'm gonna moisturize. I'm gonna use my Tula Skin Care that's 24-7 moisture. I love this stuff. It's so thin. I feel like it's like a dupe for like the Tatcha water cream. It kind of feels like that a little bit. So just around my face and don't forget your neck so yeah booze i got um this little cute gym workout set a shirt with some shorts that are kind of long so they're like kind of like biker shorts so i'm really excited to try out this outfit because i thought it's so cute and i want to take some instagram photos with it and it was only like 25.99 it's regular 29.99 so like basically like 30 dollars i was so scared if it was gonna fit me or not because i got a small because i worried about the small because of the top because i am a bear i'm bigger on my chest than my bottom so i was like kind of worried like it won't fit so prayers that it does fit so yeah i look a little red on here but don't mind this i got a bit of a mosquito and it left the scab and i'm like kind of breaking out and so now i'm going to prime my face a little bit so i'm gonna use my elf primer poreless putty i'm gonna get a little bit and then put my hand and just massage it so i can just get it for places where i need so smooth out my pores oh my god so yeah look at that perfection and so booze catch up uh, I downloaded this app called Like to Know It because I've been seeing it going around um, that my mom's been looking at. So, what I was looking for. So, I wanted to try it out and I registered to see if I, if I get accepted to the ward style. I apply and I got accepted. So, I was so excited because Like to Know It is like this app where you can shop your favorite influencers clothing items to beauty to like home any little thing and you can shop on their page and you can just go to their link and you can shop from there and i thought that was really cool and i'm looking for my eyebrow brush because i'm gonna do my eyebrows so i'm gonna do what is i'm gonna get my anastasia brush and just flick them up and i'm just gonna color them in a little bit just like not not so nice i'm just gonna go like that just a little bit and i thought that was so cool so y'all can follow me i have my let's know it link down below and right here so you can go follow me i do post on there so far daily and i freaking love it you can shop anything i post or like if you're wondering like where is a certain outfit from outfit from you can go on my like to know it and you can go go on my page and you go find it and you can go shop on there and i do make some commission so i mean by all means you don't have to shop on there but it's another way I do make some income. So, you can shop on there if you would like. But yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to like grow my platform on there. And I freaking love that app. I am honestly addicted this week. I was just on it like crazy. And then just trying to learn how to use it. Um, just, you know, it's all a new brand new to me. So, I'm just learning like the steps and what things to post, like what draws attention and how to go followers because that's like from scratch like you gotta start from zero because like you'll have some people from your social media that might have like to know it and they'll follow you but mainly you gotta like start from the bottom and work your way up that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna work myself up and yeah i really if you have any questions where things are from you can just go on my page and i'll definitely probably have it and i'll post in like some probably sell items like any little thing from fashion to beauty that's what i will do so i literally forgot to place them down because i was talking too much i got distracted it took a while to do my eyebrows because i kind of messed up i was like what's going on with my eyebrows so i really love that technique that how you can just get a makeup wipe or any kind of wipe and you can take off any excess glue so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some of the excess glue around my eyebrows and i love the technique of this fluffy laminated brow look and this is what i use my got to be glue and this is like what four or five bucks and they do have a smaller one i think on walmart or something like that so i'm gonna and yeah i really love that app and i've been addicted to it so you can go follow me and you can follow your other influencers too and that's always so cool that like you know Maybe sometimes like your influencer doesn't even say where a certain item's from, but they did post it on their um like to know it and you can go find it off of there and makes it a lot a lot easier. Okay. 
<gasps> oh shoot, I think I messed up. We're gonna cut it under my eyebrows, so I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Wait, oh, there's something. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer here so I can already sit, because that's what I've been doing lately, and just letting a little bit of concealer sit, and then just put it here, right here, and then I'll put some on my eyelid so I can cut the crease. And yeah, I've been like shopping like crazy on Amazon. I've been buying like some new makeup products and finding like some new beauty techniques. Like I've been really like trying to really grow my platform and learning ideas. So that's what I've been doing is like learning how to do things differently. Like I want to make some reels on my Instagram. I just gotta learn how to do that first. I gotta learn. I think it's easy. I need to watch a video, but I need to start posting on there. Yeah, I'm buying like a lot of great stuff. I'm getting like some goodies and maybe I can do a haul for y'all. Is this the reason why my mouth kind of opens when I'm like doing my makeup or something? Or my like tongue goes like, I don't know if it's just me or not, but like I would tell like, oh my god, I probably look so stupid when I have to go back and edit and try to edit that out because I look so weird. Who's ready for summer? I'm definitely ready for summer, summer videos. I'll probably start doing them probably next week. I'm pretty hype about that. Okay, so I can still on my brows, looks so good. So now we're going to do my base. I'm using my It's Cosmetics. And I'm put the back of my hand. I'm in the shape medium. I like to get it and I put it around my face. My nose. And I really love using this um, CC cream like more likely on a daily basis than like a full coverage. Because it's light and it gives me some SPF and some coverage. And that's what I love about it because it's not like heavy like a foundation. You'll be wearing foundation like almost every single day. But this kind of helps just tone it down and just like a little lighter. And has um, SPF 50, right? I think so. Yeah, SPF 50. And the more SPF, the more SPF on your face, the better because you want to protect your face. Because I used to not wear sunscreen and that's why I have sometimes like sunspots. And actually now I know so I always wear some kind of sunscreen even if it's just from my moisturizer or serum or from like a cc cream so that's what i like i start doing now i'm gonna start putting like spf on my face every day so i'm gonna do is spray my sponge with water because i don't want to get up so i'm just gonna spray my sponge so i'm just gonna spray it a couple times and now i'm just gonna put some clips in my hair i always forget to put clips in my hair i always hold on here I always forget because I don't like to touch them because when I have clean hands, I don't know, just something I forget to do. I just forget to do them. So, put the hair on my face and now we're just going to pop this CC cream in. And I really want to try that um, Giorgio Almani, I think that's how you say it. I think I'm butchering, but, butchering it. Um, foundation. And they do have a small size. It's like $44. I know. It's like, dang. But, I really want to try because it, it looks really good. And I want to try some like new um, Charlotte Tilbury products I saw to make like, my face glowy and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. So, I really want to try those makeup products out so I can share with y'all. And show my, tell y'all like how I feel about them. If I should put y'all on. And if they're really good for like, you know, a light glowy makeup look. It's like more glowy products under your makeup so it can look very natural. I really wanna try that. So, oh my God, I hate how this mosquito bite is not gonna go away. Oh my God, it's gonna leave me a mark. I can definitely see it from here. I should've put, I probably should've put some concealer on it. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and then I'll blend it out later. So you always wanna get around your hair is if y'all always wonder why my hair right here looks so funny is because i think it was freshman year i don't know why i did not like my sideburns for some reason so i like shaved it off and i totally regret that because now i have to like slowly like step by step kind of let them grow back and that's why it looks so funny right there but like some already like grew back long so that's why like they're behind my ears but this part needs to start growing, so it's growing slowly, so whenever it gets pretty long, I start um, training it to put it behind my ears so I can go back to normal, because I shouldn't have it done. I don't know why. I didn't like it, so I just, like, shaved it off, and that was, like, a big mistake I did, so. My hair got my face, because 
that shows and I'm like really so now I'm blending in my concealer let it sit so it can get very full coverage right there wherever I placed it and I'm gonna lightly cream contour my face I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Toast and I'm gonna put it at the back of my hand because I really want it light so I'll just like put some on my hand and I do it slowly and then just like dab it all around <laughs> Yeah, I love my shirts from Bucky's from only Texas. Bucky stores is such a famous gas station. And it's like really huge if you haven't heard about it. If you ever travel to Texas, go visit Bucky's. I think it's only like certain places around um Texas, but if you're close to one, if you travel, you'll freaking love it because I love when every time I like go to places and there's a bucky near me i like to go and go get like a t-shirt because that's what i usually do like every visit i like to go get a new shirt because they come out with new shirts every time i go because like i really don't go often but once i go i get a shirt and so now i'm gonna use my laura mercier um powder we're gonna lightly do powder on your face nothing too much to not make it look cakey but what you want to do is I'm gonna really blend out my creases because what you place will stay. So, so I really like to press in my concealer and then just put a little bit on my powder one and I set it. I like to really set my under eyes because that's like where I need the most coverage of powders. Okay. Okay, and then just a little bit around the nose. Oh my god, so much powder. So I'm gonna do my eyelids because they're really creased. And I like to really put some powder on that too. I can't see. Okay. So I'm gonna do my powder brush and I'll just lightly dust them. Oh. And that's the thing too. I need really clean my brush. It's not that bad. Um, I forget sometimes. Sometimes I'm just too lazy. I just don't want to brush them. I might clean them. And then whatever's left of powder on here, I like to just set um, the places where my face, so like mainly where I'm oily, just like my T-zone. Just like to lightly set. See, like I didn't set my full face. We really want that like dewiness, like you know, skin finish look. So I really want that glow to still be there. So that's why I didn't really set my full face. If like, I was going out to my very fancy, then you know, my face needs to stay on. 24 7 that's when i will like bake my face out so oh we look a little powdery we need to put some light back into our skin so i'm gonna bronze my face and i'm going to use palette i think i'm gonna use my shade and light contour palette from kat von d or kvd and i'm just gonna use my off brush and i'm just gonna lightly let me show you go into these two like this cool tone and this like really warm tone so i'm just gonna like mix and then like really um dust off the excess so we're just gonna lightly where we put our creams so just gonna lightly and just like really because this is very pigmented so just lightly where we put it and then just blow whatever excess we have on here and just really blend it i could use a drugstore one but i just really want to use it because i haven't really used this palette in a long time so just don't forget to do your jawline and just put it down your neck because I want it to blend sometimes I forget to blend and put it in your ears just whatever I really don't like to put it on my ears but I know it's really good to put it on your ears because you can look all even and blend and I just don't like my ears I don't know I just like feel weird putting it on my ears just putting makeup on my ears so so we did the face now I'm gonna lightly do my nose so I'm gonna use the same brush I used to cream contour and I'm just gonna like same colors and just gonna lightly because I don't want to put it too harsh. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the cheeks. So I'm gonna use um this Profusion blush on number three palette, and I'm just gonna use probably like all shades. I like to mix around with them. So just go one, two, three, and then just put it right where my where my highlight will go. So now our face is like really powdery so now we're just gonna set that and make it more blended and soak to our skin so we're just gonna put some 
setting spray. Melt the product in. Oh my god, that tastes so nasty, but it's also good. So while that sits and dries, we're gonna um do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use my butter bronzer to use to do as my eyeshadow. I'm trying to make a little halo look with my eye. Just something a little cute, simple. And then I'm gonna go in with any um shades of brown you have a palette of so you just want to go darker um on the inside and i'm going to copy on each side so i'm going to do a little dark right here and do the same thing on the other side because it's a halo effect look <laughs> and then i'm going to go back with my other brush i'm going to go in the cypress umber and just one dot. Wait, this is like very dark. And. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. And then it's not too perfect, but I'm gonna go in with a pretty um, shade, a highlight shade. So I'm gonna go in with this Milani Sun Glow. And I'm just gonna rub this my fingers in. I'm gonna place this right in the middle of my eyelid. And that's what it looks like. Ooh. So now I'm gonna do the same thing um, from the bottom of my eye. And then get my highlight brush and then just like really mix it in there. And then just place it where my highlight will be. Okay. So now we did that. So now I'm gonna look like, oh, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Top. And this is really good. So I'm gonna overlay my lips. And then I'm gonna get my lipstick um the workout so because i don't want to mess up my hair i'm gonna put my shirt on so let me show you the little workout outfit so this is what it looks like i really love the quality this is a small and the top kind of fits it's a little snug under my arms but other than that it fit it looks so good oh my goodness and so far i don't really see like camel to or anything but that's what it looks like in the back um, I love this color. It was like a green color. So this will like pop out my skin color. But yeah, guys, it's really good material. It's really thick on the waistband. And it feels like great, like high quality material. And this is what I love. So on Amazon Boost, $25.99. It's on sale. Really not, I don't know if it's on sale. But you just save some money because it's regular. Like 30 bucks and you're paying like 26 So you're saving a little bit more money. So I think I love it. It's very comfortable squat proof honestly so impressed about this workout little set and it's really cute so i'm definitely gonna go buy my colors because it looks so good i really love it i really am shook how great quality it is y'all all need to go purchase this so i'll definitely link this on my like to know it app so i think i'm gonna do it like that just a little small part so yeah i'm definitely gonna link this this is great color so so i am done with my makeup look i hope you guys enjoy this look it looks super good can y'all see that? This lip. It looks super cute. Y'all need to go get Pillow Talk on Sephora Charlotte Tilbury. And just like this simple natural glam. You see like the lashes are not too dramatic but like very natural. Just a little wispy on the outer corners. And workout set is super cute. I freaking love this. I'm going to give y'all another overview of how it looks. So that's what it looks like. And I can bring down the shorts. And yeah, look. Link will be in description. And go follow me on like to know because I'll be posting on there daily. And you can get some of the exclusive content on there that I post. So I love you, boo. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.